game kind of frantic and panicked here. I was about to ask, uh, what's the, what uh, fun matchup of characters would you rather have? But <laughs> looks like we are going to be seeing uh, Justin Bylet here going up against Roka. Uh, the winner of this has to fight Guy Guy to make it out of pools. Oh yeah, Bylet, uh, Justin Bylet's been on a little bit of a run so far. So after he lost the bugs, he's been kind of you know going in the gauntlet of facing a lot of demons. And so far, his, his next opponent is Roku. No slouch to begin with, but of course, Justin done a good job so far this first game. Still, though, trying to get something going here, but I, I mean, Roka doing a really great job of getting around the Steve shenanigans. Now, granted, Greninja Hold is on. a little bit lighter, Lord. Uh, but Greninja has tons of ways that we can get around, like, block placements and stuff, but not when Justin is ready to go with a diamond full there. Well, this is the fast full of life. You saw what you have to kind of deal with. Yeah. You know, this isn't even bad SDI, so to speak. Uh, you're just a fast fuller, and against Steve, he loves that. He's still trying to get something going here. I mean, it's definitely not over, but losing a stock really early like that is just really good for Justin's momentum. And that's the thing, right? Just spot dodge up tilt, no follow up after, but no diamond to really work with right now. Justin doesn't seem to care. Yeah, he was playing fisticuffs right there. Actually, didn't have no weapons to kind of work with. So you just hold hands to kind of scrap with that air smash. It would be so messed up if Steve got stronger, whether he had a tool or that not. Imagine nuts. you had like diamond, but then uh, your level two of that is just, hey, I have no tool. Uh, I'm actually like five times stronger and I have much more <laughs> knockback. It would be a nightmare to deal with. Okay, good trade there for the mine card. Just to get us out a little bit longer. How does Rocky kind of answer back? Ooh, good spot touch. Yo, Justin really wants to do this his way. Up throw is going to do it. Justin, kind of a jerk for that one. Just no tool. Why not? <laughs> Didn't explicitly go for the tool, so bro did not care. Justin Byleth going to win game number one here. You got to be asking, where's the Byleth, man? Not here yet. I think Byleth away. probably does a, also a fine job versus uh, Greninja. Could be very susceptible offstage, but why play Byleth when you can play one of the best characters in the game? Absolutely. I do think the speed would kind of cover Byleth away. You know, that kind of... Long range character, but doesn't know exactly the fastest buttons. Has to kind of rely on that nair, right? A lot of the time, he did pull out the buttons against uh, Bubs when he was 2 0 down, but I don't think it worked out too well for them. They're losers for a reason. We're seeing uh, what this loser Justin Bailey can do. The run been pretty well so far, but Roku is no slouch. Absolutely not. And like we said, these are long. These are big pools. These are very long pools, like all the way through that you essentially have to play through if you were to lose your round one six rounds of losers to make it into top 32 so i think we are probably in we are in top 64 territory for yep. wavelength here um, already right big shout out to the tournament organizers uh, i think something over the years we figured out how to maximize the amount of time we've been in venues right we do singles practically in a day or two yep. at this point uh, so we're already in top 64 but you know people want to go all the way through to this top 32 yeah, you got to watch the momentum we just up before going down the elevator on that TNT. Nothing from it though, but still showcasing. Steve got a little bit of tech to work with. And there's a triple block, obviously going to force him up high. Greninja does jump high, so you can't afford to kind of do that. But you don't want to waste your resources too early. Still no landing Nair into the up smash here. Justin struggling to get down, at least for the moment. The wood sword not going to be able to reach there. And I think you were talking about that a little bit earlier, how Greninja can slide through a couple of things, but great call out on the up smash. Justin trying to spot dodge through, but it is going to be Roka going up a stock. Okay, back air trade, of course. Not going to rework him out in Roka's favor. The TNT on the block going to force you to do an option. Tries to cover the double. Can't find it too much there. No anvil either. A lot of pressure. Throws out the S-Mash and cancels it with the minecart. Yeah. Steve's got tech. Yeah, honestly, at that point, right, like, Justin is uh, crewmates with Syrup. Wow. Um, and you know that they're sharing tech back in for it. Such a talented player that Justin is. But, my goodness, this is kind of the, the hard part about Steve is sometimes uh, quite literally Marvel 2 feels like you're taking for a ride. I'm just so impressed with the block canceling. Able to get, like, pseudo smash attacks in the air. He got that down smash conversion because of the block cancel, like, super smart. Ooh, okay, trying to get something going here, but there's the up throw, good air dodge down, but it does not matter. Greninja a little bit faster and going <laughs> straight into the blast. So. That was one of those autopilot things where you think you have the combo, uh, off the like, drag yeah, up throw. Like, yeah, I'm feeling it, and it's down out <laughs> to their death. Damn. Speaking of down air to death, uh -oh. we could be seeing it here too. Justin, no diamond required here, but gets the trip. Good get up attack from Justin here as he's trying to get something going, but going to be a tool break right now. Very important to notice. Yeah, you may get two blocks out, bro. Switch it up. Slide it right through there. Down tilt, nothing confirmed with a great DI. Yeah, again, but still 
in that window to feel confirm and know that I can save you right there. Yeah, Great kill from Roku. Yeah, I was about to say, it's just like, sometimes you just stay like very confident with the edge guard and yep. like it'll fall into you. Because the correct thing to do is to DI out, but you're Greninja, you have tons of time to kind of reposition yourself here. But still trying to get something started here. I mean, it, this game isn't necessarily over for Roka. 90% though could be very damning at this point. He's getting very close. That's safety now the block though. Save and Justin's a little bit longer. The minecart coming out, but great uh, kind of interruption from Roku. Once Young Smash Bet again on the platform like that, should know better now. Uh, if you're a Greninja main, it's not going to hit that time. Ooh. Even I know that. <laughs> no profit off of the missed up smash here. Finds a nair through the minecart here. Justin has no materials left to really work with, so we have to kind of start boxing here. No time at all to mine either. So this is a perfect time for Roka to start getting something going. Even after the self-destruct, we could be seeing something. But Justin has to find some footing here. Has to find an up smash. Has to find a call out. Because honestly, look at Roka just swinging for the fences. And of course, Justin is swinging too. He does have the gold. The normal guy, that little bit faster. Minecart not doing it smart right there. Okay. So tense here. Could go either way. There's the back air. Has diamond, but do we have time to get to the crafting table? I don't even think Roka wants anything to do with it right now. There's the forward throw. It's not going to be enough just yet. Watch and now die. it is all up to Justin. How do we recover? It's not even safe to make the diamond tool. There's the dash attack. Unable to find anything. Both players trying to swing for the fences. It will be Roka recovering this game. Yeah, Justin was swinging, 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 but just couldn't find that final conversion. And yo, we got a nice little set. Uh, yeah. see don't worry guys you want to see Justin Bailey you can see Justin Bailey for these losing game four guys 
I was about to say, uh, like, sorry Twitch chat, you guys get to, you guys get to kind of like overthrow here, but we're on battlefield right now. Uh, this is definitely the the Greninja pick, if you will, right? You have tons of places to kind of avoid all of Steve's like rampaging hits here, but look at Roka, like still in the lead on this game number three. The blocks though, still surviving, actually hugs the ledge to get past the blocks. On the platform, scared, and there's a down smash coming out. Yeah, going for it again, but once again, the, the, the thing is with Battlefield is that you just have so many places to run and hide, mm -hmm. especially when you're fast like Greninja, right? Like, that's kind of the the perks and advantage of playing this character is that you can just kind of take your tour around the stage. Dash had not working out too well, but of course it is a little bit safe from Steve Shield. He's able to kind of run away. Not that time of the anvil, kind of getting on the shield in the back air, sneaks that dumb one in. That's going to hurt. We're rich. Still, though, speaking of Rich, I mean, we find a lot of mileage. Ooh. Going for the Shadow sweet Sneak, unable to find it. Now, still all up to Justin. How do we get back down? We've used so much of our materials uh -oh. here, but still has one diamond to work with a little bit. And instead of going to farm, we're instead going to just go on in. There's how you land, Fabs. Find the Nair. Well, now you're back into disadvantage. It's a never-ending cycle. Rookie will find his way out. It's taking too much damage. He's bleeding right now. Another forward air. So close. Oh, oh man. <laughs> going for the roller coaster ride of a lifetime here. Minecart to minecart. Justin Byleth putting on a show. Coming back into the set. 2 1 right now. But my goodness, what a what an explosive game, if you will. Yeah, they're going to add that right to six flags, Lyric. That was terrible. Loop yeah. the loop all over. We're going to see what. Which, pick a set, Lyric. Ooh, pick a set. Um, I'm seeing last stock down there of uh, God, Sativa Exile. But I, I go back to. Go back to Nuggets, man. Like, Nuggets. He's playing everywhere at once. Go to A. Okay. Hit A. Three, two, one, go! Right. Yeah, we'll send you guys back to see at least for the moment here. So we still got Roka, we still got Justin Violet, we still got two stocks on both sides here. But here comes Justin getting so comfortable here. If I were to look at the bracket again, this is still we're still in uh, wave A here. Pool going back. I think, uh, God, who's at the end of this run? Uh, it's Guy Guy. Of course. <laughs> <laughs> Why not? I mean, once again, we are in top 64 at this point. Uh, so it's kind of the best of the best uh, of the at least pools here. So it's just not an easy feat. Uh, but still, I mean, it, Justin looking very comfortable and not even a mash out can save you there. Is that minecart stuck between the dirt block and then the moment that it's done, boom, you're heading up. You have so much time to charge that thing. Lord. Either way, we're going to see if Roku can answer back. Down tilt. Once the up head dragged him, I can't find it. Gets it right there. But finally, someone actually texts it and they get a conversion off it. Justin's still working. These gold normals working out too. 
It's like American Idol when somebody's just like like not having a good audition. <laughs> and it's like, finally, somebody tagged, man. There's the up smash. Not going to do it just yet. Justin with not a lot of materials to go, but does have the diamond. Not even oh, the block wow. placement can save you. And honestly, I would love to see a hitbox on that one a little bit slower because <laughs> I thought the block was there just in time. Uh, Smash getting away from her right now. No jab from Burton. Has Diamond on board though, so of course Roku has to watch out. Ooh, good air dodge up from Justin. I like that too. With Roka playing with fire as this is their last stock potentially in the entire tournament. Justin having a little bit of time here, but it is going to be a war between the Nair and the back. And the Nair wins the first time, but Justin going to be able to at least get something going for the second time. Gotta be careful, these minecarts are deadly. Rolls away, but still gets caught. No up air dragon this time, just goes to the upper ends of the forward air conversion. Reverses the momentum with the neutral B to keep him guessing. Wants any type of big hit, but can't find it. No back air for you. So close, it will be the backer that does it. No DI will save you there. Justin Vile is going to sneak that out. And I have to say that Justin was fighting with like no, imp like imp no uh, redstone rails for that entire.